Good evening, Kinomi Influencers. My name is Brother Jude Atoy, and this is my wife, Sister Esosa Atoy. We Hi. have an amazing story to share regarding the birth of our baby girl. Hi, good evening, Kinomi Influencers. I celebrate you all. Uh, we have a testimony concerning our baby. By this time last year, I think that was when we started before this time, that was when we started Lofty Heights in 2021. When we came to Lofty Heights, we were trying for a second baby. And um, by that time, uh, we tried for like nine months about before um, Tari 5.0. Before I came for Tari 5.0. When I came for Tari 5.0, on the second day of Tari 5.0, Pastor prophesied to me. He told me, first of all, he told me God was in depth to my prayers and he was hearing me clearly. Then he also told me that there are things, certain things I can't tell people. And then these are what we are actually praying for a baby as a den. And also, we are also, it's something that we couldn't just tell anybody. We went to the hospital, the doctors were just reassuring us, telling us it's going to come, it's going to come, keep trying. So we are really tired of trying. Then when I came for Tari, when Pastor told me those words, I knew God has spoken says, I should to say to you, all the thoughts in your heart, it sees them. You hear me? He's going to do exceedingly abundantly. You've lived a consecrated life all your life. Don't let the devil ever tell you that it was not worth living. You continue in, listen, you see the altar of God, wherever you find yourself. In lofty height, actually lofty height, you move out of return. Or maybe you just chose not to come to lofty height again. Don't desert the altar. That's where your secret is. He says, I should tell you that he's not deaf. You hear me now? Come, come. You hear me? He says, I should tell you that he is not deaf. Many times, things may not go the way you want them to go. He's got everything sorted for you. All those tears, all those cries, uh, all those things that you cannot open your mouth to tell any man about, the one who created you sees them. And so in the name of the one who has called me, I declare, in this new year 2022, move into greater level of glory. In the name of Jesus, your bands are full. In the name of Jesus, your cup is running over. In the name of Jesus, may you be dazed. In the name of Jesus, all those prayers that have been banned, I command the release of them. In the name of Jesus, all those thoughts and desires in your heart, let them find full expressions and manifestations. In the name of Jesus. In Harry 5.0, I also wrote a prayer point. I told my prayer point was that I will get pregnant in um, January and give birth October. I just wrote it. But when I when we tried in December, it didn't come. So January, I didn't even, I just took my mind off. We took our mind off it. But one thing I knew was that we are always thanking God about the whole, um, the miracle ahead because we know God has already spoken. Then um, after um, Tari, Janu end of January, I was really ill. I felt so sick. Then I went to the doctor. I did some blood work. And after the blood work, the doctor told me how I was pregnant. Then I called pastor immediately. I still came back. I checked my book and saw my prayer point. That I wrote, oh, I'm going to take it in January or get pregnant in January and give birth in October. I was really shocked. Then I knew God's hands was upon the life of this child in my womb. Then uh, I called pastor, I told pastor about it. I was really happy, so he prayed for us. We also came to his office. Um, uh, after we gave him the news, he also prayed for us again and told us this baby is going to be a baby girl. He told us the sex of this child. Then in, uh, during the pregnancy, in April, we went to check the sex of this child. The scan told us the baby was a baby girl. Then during... Um, the pregnancy time during the period of pregnancy i was also going through some health issues i pastor was also praying for me in in the church prophesying and uh, uh, also prophesying to my husband when he came to church so then i was really facing some issues concerning this pregnancy and i thank god 
everything went well everything was okay baby was okay and i was okay then during of uh, delivery of this baby before delivery i called um, mama t i sent her a message i told her i really needed to put me in my prayer because i was really really having some fears concerning the delivery of this baby but she came she anointed my stomach she said that was what god instructed her to do she anointed me anointed the baby in my womb and she really prayed for me then uh, I went straight to the delivery room without fear. I went with courage. I went with prayers. I took even Sister Sophia sometimes. She sent, she sent me some uh, messages that I should pray along with, which I did. And uh, I, 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 I thank God for everything. I thank God for safe delivery of this baby. I thank God that I'm alive. Baby is okay as well. I want to also use me to thank all of you that called us, that prayed for us that wished us well i just want to say thank you so much first of all thank like to thank pastor thank you so so much for your prayers thank you for your support even when you were in nigeria or uh, during sister pete's wedding you were still reaching out to us during the delivery thank you so so much thank you mama t i love you ma thank you for your prayers thank you thank you thank you may god continue to bless you Thank you, Minister Jumoke. Oh, thank you for being a mom, a good mom, a big mom to me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Brother Milari and Star Mommy. God going to bless you guys for us. Thank you to Brother Michael and Sister Kemi. Oh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Sister Funke and Brother Chike. Thank you, is expression. Thank you so, so much, Sister Tenny. Thank you. Thank you for always your calls, your prayers. I love you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Sister Sophia and Brother Ludovic. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say, but I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you uh, for taking Netanya in. Thank you for caring for him. Thank you for taking him as your own. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brother Deji and wife. Thank you so, so much. Thank you to so people that I can't even mention their names that called me, that prayed for me. Thank you. Uh, love to hi. Thank you. Thank you so, so thank much. You. Kingdom influencers, thank you. May God going to bless every one of you. I thank God for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. We, we honor, honor you and we celebrate, celebrate you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.